Those vegan guys. I thank you. Oh no. What's the matter, darling? We're starting a meals vlog with ice this morning. She's got food in her bowl. She's had plenty of fussings. She's just been a little drama queen. Aren't you? Hmm? <laughs> Any road? Hiya! Welcome to another Meals Vlog. Very random throw together this evening, actually. Because uh, it's, as you'll see, it's 20 past nine. Jason's just finished working. Um, he came home and then you've had to do a bit of work tonight, haven't you? Just delivering a bit of training to the out of hours staff. Yeah, which is very nice of you. So, uh, I've thrown together something very quick. We had some tofu that needed using up, so I pressed it, marinated it with some um, uh, very rich soy sauce and some uh, white rice vinegar, and then boiled some wholemeal rice, fried up some pepper, onion, edamame, peas and sweet corn, chucked in the tofu, it's a kind of bibimbap without the gotcha jank, and we're having it with a lovely air fried paratha. It might not be an Instagram worthy meal, but it, I bet it's taste. It's going to be very delicious, and I've added some of that akamiso Ooh. chili sauce to it as well, just to give it a bit of kick. Um, so there you go, it's a mixed fried rice, let's just call it that, and let's shove it right in those ruddy faces. Bye, loves. It's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests. Hello, uh, just briefly, we have this today. It's not going to take me long, obviously. Uh, some of you that have seen my previous Lunchtime Taste Tests, I've tried a couple of other pots in the Wicked range from Tesco. £1.20. Um, the mac and smoky mac and cheese was delightful to my memory. This is late night noodles. It is certainly not late night but I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. I've got some crackers to pad it out a bit. Uh, nutritional information in terms of the traffic lights, pretty healthy. Uh, serves one. This is gonna take about four minutes. And we've, not, we've got a reasonably good breakdown in terms of the, uh, the nutritional information. A mild chili. So I'll get this made and uh, do a quick taste test. Quick to make rice noodles with fragrant basil, soy and smoky barbecue broth flavours. This is what it looks like on the inside and uh, we're going to have what could possibly be a little bit of a messy taste test. Let's see. It's not exactly rocket science making this stuff. I'm interested particularly with regards to the noodles. Um, and of course the broth as well. So let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, now, it's incredibly flavoursome straight away. I'll be honest with you, it's personal taste. I'm not particularly partial to this type of noodle. It's a bit softer. Uh, it's more like a ribbon noodle and I prefer something that's a bit more springy. But, all that being said, for £1.20, it's not bad at all. Mm-hmm, yeah, and not too messy either, which is an added bonus. I don't want to be uh, splashing all over these lovely white walls. Um, so yeah, would highly recommend, as with all of the Wicked Pot uh, range, to be honest, that I've tried so far, what score would I give this? Mm. Because of the personal preference aspect with the ribbon noodles, I think that's what you, you call them. I could be wrong, please don't quote me on that. Um, I'm gonna score it slightly lower. I think if it had a springier noodle in it, I would prefer it personally. So, £1.20, not bad at all, really flavoursome. A nice, solid seven out of 10. Yes, nothing wrong with this at all for a very quick lunch, four minutes to make really taste it and like I say, um, I'm gonna be supplementing it with a few crackers just to pad it out a little bit. So, um, hope you've enjoyed this taste test. As always, um, take care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. 
Well, hello, my loves. It's uh, a very special dinner this evening. I'll get to that. Um, but we're trying the new Dr. Ertke uh, vegan pizza. Dr. Ertke. This is the first time we're having it this evening. And usually when we have pizza, we have it with a lovely salad. And this particular salad, all of the greens, the spinach and the lettuce are from plot 25. The tomato onion and... Um, Oh, it's just tomato and onion, actually. Uh, the radish. Uh, and, oh yeah, the radish, the spinach and the lettuce is all from Plot 25. So that's a, a largely 75% uh, in fact, almost. TVG allotment salad. Yeah, yeah. How marvellous is that? Uh, do you want to have a quick bite of that, Bromers? I should do. And really? let folk know what you think. Is uh, it going to stop I will, mouth? I will as well. Is it going to scald me now? No. No. Mmm. So that's it, close up. Mmm. It could do with more vegan cheese. For me. To remind me more of Dr. Erka, but it's a nice thin crispy crust. The cheese is tasteful, the tomatoes are full of flavour. Uh, I think that's pesto. It's very good. What do you think? Oh, he's not keen. I think it's gorgeous. All oh, right, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I was processing. Right. I was, uh, I was, I take things seriously when it comes to pizza. You I know, know this. I know this. Um, it's really good. I, I agree with everything that you just said. Yeah, well, I, um, well, I shit the salad. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, this is your classic Instagram salad. All layered, all dressed, all the beautiful black pepper on top. Looks amazing. Nobody eats salad like that. What we do is we make it look shit. Hence the shitting of the salad. I, I know it's an awful thing to say, but it's a comical way of taking the mick out of ourselves and Instagram. So there you go. If you didn't know. And I'll just... Um, I'll just uh, go back briefly to the pizza and just say it's absolutely gorgeous. The base is really nice. Uh, it's really flavoursome. The pesto is gorgeous. Uh, I'm not missing the cheese, although I do know what you mean. The classic Dr. Etka from back in the day. There's a bit of salad leaf trying to escape there. Oh, no. I'm not having that. Do you want this back now? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Thanks, love. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the pizza. It's uh, it's brilliant. Yeah, I wanted to end with a good plate. Like you said, it should always have the salad on it when we end. Uh, so there you go, Dr. Irk pizza and a largely Plot 25 salad. Eee, bloody marvellous. Bye, loves. Well, hello, my loves. It's Thursday evening, so firstly, yay! 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 Jason's yay. off work. And now, Luke, I'll give the, work, I'll give the bloody game away. She's here, Luke. Because we've got two vegan queen gigs. Uh, tonight is Thursday. We've got one tomorrow night and one Saturday night, haven't we? Two. So she's here for the next two nights. Hence the lack of vlogs this week. Whilst we're on the subject, week. can what? I clarify? For anybody who's still a little unsure, the vegan queens is Paul and Stuart. Not uh, me. <laughs> yes. Good call, mister. So that is one of the nut roasts that I got from... Uh, the M&S shopping vlog, we got them for £1.25, a load of new potatoes, uh, I've used the packet gravy that came with the nut roast but I've had to extend it and make, make it go a bit further and that, other than the peas, is all from the allotment, we've got spinach, radish greens and Swiss chard, um, all pan fried with peas, a bit of garlic and a bit of salt, so there you go. Thursday night's dinner with this motley crew. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Friday evening. Very late dinner, I at this. 25 to 10. Stuart and I, lovely Stuart over there, Hello. have just finished being Gemini and my asthma for our um, Rochdale and Rainbow's bingo calling, and it were cracking, and now we're starving. So we're trying this. This is the wicked. Asparagus and peppercorn 
ravioli from Tesco's with just a bit of salad, uh, all from Plot 25, the radishes and the lettuces, and a bit of the... Um, Morrison's vegan Caesar dressing one of you guys told us about I bought it the other day it's as good as the Marks and Spencer's one and half the price so you know it'd be rude not to yeah. um, so we're all we're all having ravioli and a bit of salad Mr Bromley would you like to do your taste test my darling my love shall I will my fancy fancy man I'm not man. messing about here tonight you I'll just... do that lovely yes 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 and I'll do this <laughs> Oh, and I've done um, uh, my usual basil, garlic, oil, and a bit of butter dressing for ravioli. Mm. It's my uh, it's my standard. Mm. Nice. It's really good. Yeah. Really lovely filling, and most importantly, the pasta is is rather excellent. To well, be fair. fantastic. Uh, so the, we've got another gig tomorrow as the Vegan Queens, haven't we, Joe? We have. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to whack this down as throats, and we'll see you again right soon. E, we bloody love you. Bye, loves. Well, hello, my darlings. Vacant chair. Stuart's gone home. We've just dropped him off. It's nearly 20 past nine. Another late dinner. Uh, so this is an air fryer job tonight. Um, a bird's eye uh, green cuisine sausage roll. Some oven chips and salad from our allotment. Our own homegrown lettuce and radish with a bit of uh, Morrison's Caesar style vegan dressing, a couple of slices of bread. I'm so hoarse. Oh, I'm so hoarse because <laughs> I've just been singing loads of songs. 18 months, babe, I since know. you've done a face to face gig in full drag with your heels and everything. I know. You I both know. did amazingly well. Well, um, you know what we'll do? We'll what? insert a picture here. Yes. There you go. That was the, the lovely. Oh, and I'll insert a picture here from the gig last night as well, the bingo. So that's what we're having for us dinner. Picked up that second hand dress today in a second hand shop. Marvellous. Hey, you can't go wrong. If you don't mind, I've got two nights at Vegan Queens has wrecked me. I'm ruined. <laughs> <laughs> but I've had a bloody marvellous time. And now I'm going to shove this down my neck. Love you guys. Um, thank you for your patience with us this week when we've had all the things on. We'll see you again very soon. Bye, loves. Well, uh, good evening, my loves. It's Sunday evening. Bit of a boo, because Jason goes back to work tomorrow. He's just done a home COVID test for work, haven't you? Right up his schnitzel. Right up here. Oh, you're horrible. Oh, all clean, though. Yeah, all, yeah. All clean of the cob. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. Um, I've made a curry tonight. I actually, it was uh, Leanne, uh, one of our moderators and a good friend in Wales, who inspired me to have a bash at making my own curry paste. Um, which I did a good few months ago and now I've not stopped. Um, so it's a big chunk of, of fresh ginger, about five or six cloves of garlic, a white onion, a fresh tomato, a big fat fresh tomato, um, a bit of garam masala, a bit of curry powder, a bit of cumin, a bit of coriander, all in the Nutribullet and there's your curry paste. Usually I add a can of coconut milk to it this time I've gone for passata and cocoa yogurt. Um, so uh, hopefully Jason will give us a, a taste test in a minute. Uh, I've done a mint and garlic yogurt for just drizzling. And then a Tesco's nan breads. Um, so yeah, homemade uh, curry and rice. Now in the curry we've got the beef style pieces, the alt. The unbelievable alt beef style pieces. We've got red and white onion. Um, green beans, peas, sweet corn, radish greens from Plot 25, chard from Plot 25, and spinach from Plot 25. Um, so yeah, yeah. Have a little oh, and some peanuts, just because I'm random. I'm going to go for a bit at the edge, because I'm hoping it's not going to be quite as hot. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Is it good? Yeah, really nice. Really, um, just a real depth of flavour and a nice hint of something. A little bit of a... Oh, the, yeah, there's chillies in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, but you've I'm... not gone overboard with it. No, no, no. No, just some chillies. 
more for flavour than heat. Mm -hmm. uh, so there you go, homemade curry with lots of homegrown vegetables served with brown rice, naan bread and uh, uh, mint and garlic yoghurt. Lovely. Mm. Bye loves. Well, hello my loves, it's the last night of our seven night meal vlog and we're having uh, spaghetti and meatballs and I've just kind of done a quick recipe vlog um, for the sauce for this. Uh, I'm going to whack that up I think on Wednesday, uh, just so you're aware. Um, but it, yeah, it's, it's a homemade tomato sauce, plant pioneers meatballs from Sainsbury's, whole wheat spaghetti and a whole lot of flavour and some peas and rocket mixed into the sauce. Do you want to give it a bit of a shitting, Jason, so people can see that the sauce does actually cover the biscotti? Can do. Because it's very thick, you see, the sauce. But it does coat the um, the uh, spaghetti, and we always cut our meatballs. Oh, I always cut them in half. Yeah, we... There we go, you see. Beautiful. Pasta sauce. You can make as much or as little as you like of it. Oh. So that, my darlings, is the... Oh, get our own made parmesan, Jason. Where is it? Little jar in the fridge. Got all made parmesan made with nooch and nuts. It's beautiful. Um, oh, and that is the uh, garlic bread. Um, I think it's ciabatta from Sainsbury's. Clearly marked vegan. Really good, lovely stuff. Um, just whack it in the air fryer for five, ten minutes. Can you see it, babes? It looks like a powder. Yeah. No. No? Oh, He's got it. He's got it. He's found it. There you go. That's the homemade parmesan, which is basically um, nooch and uh, nuts uh, all mixed together. Lovely on top of all this. Uh, so there you go, my loves. That's another... Uh, lovely meals vlog for you hope you've enjoyed it hope you get some inspiration for it that's why we share these things so that you can be inspired to throw together simple easy delicious vegan meals thanks so much for watching here gratuitous shot of my gorgeous husband <laughs> we'll see you again very soon until then please be excellent to yourselves won't you and each other bye loves